Austin Butler spoke about having a health scare after he wrapped filming Elvis as he walked the red carpet at Sunday's 29th annual Screen Actors Guild Awards. Hollywood's new leading man, 31, told People that he ended up in the hospital and spent a week in bed right after his last day of filming the smash hit biopic. Butler, who brushed off his loss to Brendan Fraser by partying with Orlando Bloom and Zendaya, called playing Elvis the greatest ride of my life. Austin said, I had a week of downtime where I actually ended up in the hospital. I didn't get sick the entire time I filmed Elvis, but the day I finished, I ended up in the emergency room. So I spent a week in bed, and then I went to this other job. Austin revealed last year that he had contracted a virus that stimulates appendicitis. Speaking to GQ, the heartthrob described falling ill right after finishing his acclaimed turn as the late king of rock and roll. The next day I woke up at 4 in the morning with excruciating pain, and I was rushed to hospital. The Oscar nominee also talked to people about losing his voice, saying that he could no longer sing after enduring several takes of a difficult scene. We were on stage and I was singing Never Been to Spain, and, and we did so many takes, and at a certain point, my voice just, I just lost my voice, he shared. Then I went on vocal rest for a couple of days, and I was able to come back, although the long hours and multiple takes may have been grueling, he added, there were those days, but it was also just the greatest ride of my life. Butler looked dapper at the event in a tailored burgundy tuxedo and was joined on the red carpet by Elvis director Baz Luhrmann, 60, and his wife, Catherine Martin. The Elvis star's burgundy tuxedo featured a retro cut highlighting Austin's tall, lean figure. Butler's dirty blonde hair was styled up Elvis style, and he donned some clean cut stubble. Hollywood's new leading man arrived without his girlfriend, supermodel turned actress Kaya Gerber. He hobnobbed with other A-list stars inside the Fairmont Century Plaza, posing alongside fellow nominees Julia Garner, who was nominated for her acclaimed turn in Inventing Anna, and Anna de Armas, who was nominated for her performance as Marilyn Monroe in Blonde. Austin went on to make a dashing duo with Taryn Egerton, who looked handsome in a white tuxedo. Egerton was nominated in the category of Outstanding Performance by a male actor in a television movie or limited series for his performance in Black Bird, ultimately losing out to Sam Elliott. Butler's lauded turn as Elvis earned him a nomination for Outstanding Performance by a Male Actor in a Leading Role. He faced stiff competition from Brendan Fraser in The Whale, who received the award for Best Actor. The Banshees of Inisherin and Everything Everywhere All at Once were among the most nominated feature films at the 29th Screen Actors Guild Awards. The Banshees of Inisherin earned a nomination for Outstanding Performance by a cast in a motion picture, along with individual nods for Colin Farrell in the lead male actor category and Brendan Gleeson and Barry Cogan in the supporting male category. The Michelle Yeoh starring Everything Everywhere All at Once, which has grossed more than $100 million against just a $14 million budget, was also a hit with SAG voters. Yo, who scored a major career comeback with Everything Everywhere All at Once, won for lead female actor. Kay Hoi Kwan, best known as a child actor in Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom and the Goonies, cemented his return to Hollywood by winning for supporting male actor. 
Stephanie Hsu, who plays the actor's daughter in the film, was nominated in the Supporting Female Actor category, losing out to co-star Jamie Lee Curtis, who plays a villainous IRS agent in the film. The event also honored acting legend Sally Field with the SAG Life Achievement Award for her work spanning over five decades earning over 70 acting credits. The 76-year-old actress who exclaimed, You like me. Right now. You like me. When she won her second Oscar for Best Actress in 1984's Places in the Heart, is no stranger to Hollywood honors. 2023 SAG Award winners, full list film outstanding performance by a male actor in a leading role Austin Butler, Elvis Colin Farrell, The Banshees of Inisherin Brendan Fraser, The Whale, winner Bill Nye, Living Adam Sandler, Hustle outstanding performance by a female actor in a leading role Kate Blanchett Tar Viola Davis, The Woman King Anna de Armas, Blonde Danielle Deadweiler, Till Michelle Yeoh, Everything Everywhere All at Once, winner outstanding performance by a male actor in a supporting role Paul Dono, The Fableman's Brenda Gleason, The Banshees of Inisherin Barry Cogan, The Banshees of Inisherin K. Hoi Kwan, Everything Everywhere All at Once, winner Eddie Redmayne, The Good Nurse Outstanding Performance by a Female Actor in a Supporting Role Angela Bassett, Black Panther, Wakanda Forever Hong Chow, The Whale Carrie Condon, The Banshees of Inisherin Jamie Lee Curtis, Everything Everywhere All at Once, winner Stephanie Hsu, Everything Everywhere All at Once Outstanding Performance by a Cast in a Motion Picture Babylon the Banshees of Inisher and Everything Everywhere All at Once, winner the Fableman's Women Talking Outstanding Action Performance by a Stunt Ensemble in a Motion Picture The Batman Avatar, The Way of Water Black Panther, Wakanda Forever Top Gun, Maverick, winner the Woman King TV Outstanding Performance by a Male Actor in a Television Movie or Limited Series Steve Carell, The Patient Taran Egerton, Blackbird Sam Elliott 1883 winner Paul Walter Hauser, Blackbird Evan Peters, Dahmer, Monster Outstanding Outstanding performance by a female actor in a television movie or limited series Emily Blunt, The English Jessica Chastain, George Tammy, winner Julia Garner, Inventing Anna Nisi Nash Betts Dahmer, Monster Amanda Seyfried, The Dropout Outstanding performance by a male actor in a drama series Jonathan Banks, Better Call Saul Jason Bateman, Ozark, winner Jeff Bridges, The Old Man Bob Odenkirk, Better Call Saul Adam Scott, Severance Outstanding performance by a female actor in a drama series Jennifer Coolidge, The White Lotus, winner Elizabeth Debicki, The Crown Julia Garner, Ozark Laura Linney, Ozark Zendaya, Euphoria Outstanding Performance by a Male Actor in a Comedy Series Anthony Kerrigan, Barry Bill Hader, Barry Steve Martin, Only Murders in the Building Martin Short, Only Murders in the Building Jeremy Allen White, The Bear, winner Outstanding Performance by a Female Actor in a Comedy Series Christina Applegate, Dead to Me Rachel Brosnahan, The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel Quinta Brunson, Abbott Elementary Jenna Ortega, Wednesday Jean Smart, Hacks, Winner Outstanding Performance by an Ensemble in a Drama Series Better Call Saul The Crown Ozark Severance The White Lotus, Winner Outstanding Performance by an Ensemble in a Comedy Series Abbott Elementary, Winner Barry the Bear Hacks Only Murders in the Building Outstanding Action Performance by a Stunt Ensemble in a Television Series and or The Boy's House of the Dragon The Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power Stranger Things, Winner.